hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome I'm Katie I am a full-time commercial illustrator and product designer and um, today's video is gonna be a little bit about how I take my workflow basically like from sketch to finished product the finished product that um, for this video is note cards so I'm going to show you my process how I took these, or how I took my sketches, and turned them into these note cards. These note cards, um, I love note cards. I absolutely love note cards. And so they're one of my favorite products to design for. And so that is what this collection is all about. I also love to draw stationery, so yeah. But yeah, I have a couple of different, like, like this one is a different layout compared to the other one. But yeah, so that's what it is. I've created this whole collection of note cards, which um, will be releasing soon. And I'm gonna show you how I took it from the sketchbook to the finished piece. So let's get started. All right, this project started in this big, huge, Artist Loft sketchbook, which um, has taken color pencil and pit artist pens very well. So I'm really excited about that, but let's get started. So what I do is I actually start in this sketchbook with pencil and everything, you know, is very rough drawn out. I do not draw everything from reference. A lot of it comes out of my, you know, my mind when I know something looks like but I do have this pair of scissors on my desk. It was my, they were my mother's. I have a vintage typewriter, um, but everything else is, you know, just from my imagination. And the same with these. I did use some illustrate, you know, some reference images for this, but most of it is from my imagination, but that's what I use this book for. So I start out my drawings like this and get them ready. And then I just take a photograph of them. Once I take that photograph um, of my sketches, let's get back to this one. Once I take my photograph of this sketch, it doesn't have to be perfect most of the time. Um, I just try to, you know, take it straight up and down and because I'm going to redraw it. And what I do is from the sketchbook, it goes in to my next process. Once I have it drawn like this, the next is to create a flat color illustration. And the flat color is just like it is. It's just flat color. There's no texture. There's no um, shading. It's just flat color. And so I create, I basically duplicate my illustration file I do the line work, then the flat color, then I duplicate it and start with shading. Because the shading is going to take more layers, I'll end up duplicating this twice and working on half of the objects in one, half the objects in the other. And then when I go to export it, so my shaded color one, I use all these different layers. So say, the notebook, or let's go to the scissors. Let's, let's just, let's just close all these out for a minute. All right, and look at the typewriter. This typewriter has two layers, the flat color and the shade. So as you can see, I can cut the flat color. That's just the flat color. And then I add shading just some subtle shading and I use the multiply um, mode on the layer to blend it but that's how that one is and so once I get all of my shading done on all of my pieces then I create another I copy it and flatten all of the layers so they're all individual pieces so as you can see the scissors it's all one individual piece then I take that and I export these to my computer um, to work into Illustrator. 
So I've flattened all of them. They all have their shading. They're all ready to go. And they're all individual flattened pieces. And then so what I do is I export them out into as a PNG file to my laptop and I start working with them in Illustrator. If I'm doing something for Instagram, I keep a little square version of it here and just add in the image that I want to use um, so that this way there's my square format with my background and I just copy and paste whichever one I'm going to use for my Instagram post. So that's my workflow on the iPad. Now let's move to the computer. All right, when I, all right, so when I'm working in Adobe Illustrator, I have a greeting card format that I use for all of my cards. Um, and so I already have that set up. And then it has all my information on it, on the back of the card. And then I have it ready to go and know how to format it. So that's when I then take the PNG illustrations that I have transferred from my iPad to my computer and then start working them into note cards and coming up with the layout for all the note cards here. And that's pretty much it. That is how I do it. I export it as a PDF and then they're ready to print. They are set up ready to print on these little note cards. And as you can see, my branding is on the back. The card is here. The design is here. They are blank on the inside. I prefer blank note cards. Um, I don't know about you, but that's just what I do. Um, you know, I know some people would rather be able to write whatever they want on the inside, and that is the reason I do that. So I hope you have learned something a little bit about my process. Um, I know it was just a quick overview, but yeah. Since this video was just a quick overview of my process, it's just to let you know that there's lots of different ways to create. Um, I love using my iPad and my Apple Pencil, and I will do that a lot. Um, but I've gotten to where I don't like to start my creations on the iPad anymore. Um, I have before the iPad, I always did everything on here in a sketchbook and scanned it in. Um, I did a very fine inking um, in my sketchbook most of the time. So when I scanned it in, all I had to do was, I did most everything traditionally. Um, I have really liked the format of coloring on my iPad compared to doing it in my sketchbook. I feel like I can get the color that I want and I can make sure that it is ready in CMYK ready for printing. I don't have to worry about if it's, you know, set up wrong or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed my process and, um, hit that like button, subscribe if you like this video, um, and want to see more and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.